All right, back by popular demand, it's me, Chris Broussard, and my man, Jason McIntyre. What's up, man? Dang, you've been working out? Look at those guns, I'm Broussard. Just, I'm just naturally like Oh, this. gosh, yeah. got it, obvious. Knockdown Jay, they've been demanding yeah. some Knockdown Jay. I don't do the In The Zone podcast anymore. You've so moved on done now. Yeah, you got the moved, national radio, radio show. And all that, the Odd Couple. Fox Sports Radio, 4 to 7 p.m. Pacific Time, 7 to 10 Eastern. Ooh, nice plug there, there in the first there minute. Go. Well there done. But I do miss Knockdown Jay. Oh, I always so loved our dialogues. I love That's it. That's what they were. They weren't debates. Yeah. They weren't shouting matches. They weren't arguments or fights. They were dialogues. Yeah, good discussion. Smart, they elevated discussion. They resembled fights, but they, they were did. dialogues. They did that. yes. <laughs> but here we go, right on the eve of the NBA playoffs. Yes. Great time of season. And you're going to hit me with some questions. I will. And we're going to get at it. Yeah. I know the people are starved to talk about the Orlando Magic getting to the playoffs. Congrats. They are Congrats. Aaron yes. Gordon came on the I couple, told us a few months ago they are making the playoffs. Yeah. And he actually said they're going to do some damage. Oh. So let's see what you can Maybe do. they'll. AG. No, they will not win a game in the first round. But <laughs> let's get started, Broussard. First up, the Los Angeles Lakers not in the playoffs, but the biggest story in the NBA Give me your best case scenario for the Lakers this summer and your worst case. Start well, with the best. Obviously. Realistic best case. That's where I'm going. Okay. Realistic best case is Anthony Davis. You get Anthony Davis. Uh, sure, you'd love to get Kyrie Irving. You'd love to get Kevin Durant. You'd love to get Kawhi Leonard or Klay Thompson. And if I won, I can throw in, you know, you, you trade for Anthony Davis and you get Klay Thompson. That would be outstanding. I just don't see that happening. So I'm going to say, best case scenario, you add Anthony Davis, you get a Marcus Morris from Boston, who's a free free agent who can defend, he's tough, he can shoot, and then wow. you, you add a few more nondescript shooters. Wait, hold on. Was Marcus Morris worst case or in part of no, the best I case? mean, I, I'm not saying he's a star. I'm just saying we need shooters. If you're the Lakers, you need shooters. So wow. you got Marcus Morris and some other shooters okay. around Anthony Davis and LeBron James. All right. Hey, I'm want, just being you realistic. You want to give your worst now or you want me to go back? Go ahead and best. I'm going to go ahead and upstage you, okay? Kyrie Irving, good friends with LeBron. We know they ended ugly, but they started talking again. Kyrie Irving struggling in Boston right now. He's been awesome for them. So he's going to be an all-NBA player. I think LeBron uses the power of persuasion, says, Kyrie, man, look at what we did together. We took the and Warriors down. And Kyrie says, look at what is going on in Laker land right and now. Look you don't what's even have a precedent. And look what's going on in Boston. They are a dumpster fire. People Why? expected them Why to win. Why are they a dumpster fire? 60 games. Why are they a dumpster well, fire? That's another question we can get to. But Kyrie says, we were better together, LeBron, as a unit. We took okay, down so the 73 win Warriors. Time out. We get Kyrie in free agency. Boom, July 1. Now LeBron's got Kyrie Irving as his wingman. They then go to the New Orleans Pelicans and say, look at our roster. Take it all. Any draft pick they you want. They said that before. Okay. We offer it now. Get to the three. Well, Who's hold the on. Big, who you- the Celtics cannot offer Jason Tatum after you lose Kyrie. You can't do that and take a swing at Anthony Davis. I believe best case for the Lakers, and it's not out of the realm. They get Kyrie in free agency and trade for Anthony Davis. You have LeBron, AD, Kyrie Irving. That would be a home run, Oh, Broussard. sure. You know what, then? Oh. Let, let me scrap my argument. Here we go. Best case scenario, Kevin Durant and Kawhi Leonard join LeBron James. And while we're at it, let's trade for Joel Embiid. I mean, really? That's, you that's think they're realistic. getting Kyrie Irving and Anthony Davis? Of course. It's not happening. According to your former colleague, Stephen A. Smith, he says Kyrie Irving will Take a meeting with the Lakers. He reported that this week. Of I don't course know if he'll take a meeting. Okay. Does that mean you're getting them? I don't Carmelo know. Carmelo Anthony took a meeting. LaMarcus Aldridge took a meeting. They didn't have LeBron. You got to seal they the deal. They didn't have LeBron when those guys took meetings. That Look, was a joke. I would love franchise. to see a reunion of Kyrie and, and LeBron, although that's not my my favorite move for Kyrie. Uh, well, that- I like to see Kyrie do something else, but... I, look, I give you that. What it's percentage a nice chance? Scenario. Give me a percentage chance, Kyrie. Just let's start Point with Kyrie. Five. Less than one percent. Kyrie that goes they to the get Lakers. Goes three. No, no. Just, just Kyrie. start with Kyrie. It's got to be over eight percent. Wow, that's low. Because I'm telling you right now, 
Once you get Kyrie, then it's like take all the number one picks well, you okay, want. Okay, what's your Kuzma, number? Ingram, what's your number? Of course, it's I would the, go at hold least. On. It's that way whether you get Kyrie or not. Okay, timeout. I will go. Uh, I don't. I'm actually, giving up. We'll get to that later. I'm but. giving up whoever I have to do to get Anthony no, Davis. In, I don't know really? because I don't know who else is bidding for Anthony Davis. I don't know what else is on the table. Hold on, Here's, hold on, stop. No, stop right there. Who else is bidding you for You wouldn't AD? give up whatever it takes outside of LeBron James to get Anthony Davis. I want to know who I'm bidding against, Chris. I'm not it giving everything. It doesn't matter. No, because Anthony Davis ain't signing just anywhere. He's not signing anywhere. I get all that. I'm just saying, I'm not saying you start the bidding with, hey, take Kuzma, take Ingram, take Lonzo, take whoever. I'm just saying if it gets to that point, I'll give up whoever because these players, this group collection together – is a mess. And so if I have to give some of them up for, for AD, okay. I'll do it. So I guess my point with Kyrie. I understand you're saying you're not going to give it up wait, if you okay, don't have to. I'll wrap up on this. My point with Kyrie, why I go 33%. What are his options? This New summer, York. New York is one. Give me the other ones. Lakers. LeBron. Clippers. Haven't really heard. Now, if KD, I, I'll give you not, this. I'll give you this. If KD stays in Golden State, that certainly limits Kyrie's options. Okay. Because he ain't going just anywhere. So it's Knicks, but Lakers, Clippers. He doesn't have Clippers. to leave Boston. Okay, so Knicks, Lakers, he doesn't have he does, to leave Boston. He doesn't have to. Uh, if they lose early in the playoffs, I don't know that he's well, coming back. Well, they're going to lose in the playoffs. Uh, let let's go. Worst case with the Lakers, should we do that? Is they come they, back? They come back essentially intact. And, you know, is, they'll, they'll ask some shooters, some nondescript role-playing shooters. Okay. And, so, and, and I still think, look. Don't, Mike that, Muscala. That was a great that, move. That worst case scenario still isn't that bad because uh, you got LeBron James, and what LeBron needs to do is change his language <laughs> and start talking about. It's a language look, thing, not a roster thing. It's a verbal communication. Wasn't system. that roster fourth in the West? They were, yeah, baby. Wasn't that roster a top yeah. ten defense, even with LeBron not being a great defender? And, anymore? and I think I saw you had the stat with uh, all the guys healthy. Fifteen and eight. Fifteen so and eight. So I'm just saying. If you come back exactly as you are and LeBron, because of his language, like, look, for instance, stop talking about who you recruiting. Stop talking about I'm going to be out there, you know, behind the bushes. Well, that was I'm mostly be... Magic Johnson. No, no, the... it was Jimmy LeBron Kimmel on his last few interviews within the last week talking about how I'm going to be recruiting. I'm going to be doing this and that. I'm going to be I'm, – I'm confident who's going to jump in the car with me and all that. I don't need to hear that. Mm. I get it. You're going to recruit. Do it on the low. Publicly, you need to be saying, look, of course we want to improve. We didn't even make the playoffs. But whatever happens, I'm riding or dying with this team, these guys. I believe in our guys. We were 15 and 8 when we had our, you know, young players with me. We can, I'm, I'm, I'm coming back better than ever. Okay. I've heard the, the, the nonsense. I've heard the criticism. <laughs> I am going to work my tail off this summer. And if, it's, if it comes down to me, Ingram, Kyle, Lonzo, Believe me, we're gonna be and a lot better. And they got the training situation you fixed. Gotta, you know, you everybody gotta, healthy. You gotta talk to the. You have to show these young cats you believe in them, and you're all in, all even right, next, if it's BS. Next up, shockingly, we're gonna stick with a LeBron topic. People want LeBron. Here we go. Should the Philadelphia 76ers try to trade for LeBron James? Who? Well, of course, if they win the East. Maybe you just go with what you have, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're going out in the second round. We'll get to that. Ooh, but that's a hot take. Let's say they do go out in the second round. To your Raptors. Not my Raptors. I, pull, <laughs> I would like to see Philly win it, but uh, would beat Toronto. But let's say they go out in the second round. Yes, I say they do. Because even though LeBron is old, uh, and even though he has, what, four years, three years left on this deal, you need to try to win championships. Now, Philadelphia hasn't won a championship since 1983. Okay? Been to the finals, what, once since this that time? This is probably their best chance at a championship since 1983. And this, no. Is it better no, than the Iverson? Iverson? No, no. no. They're, they're not never, getting they to the finals. At the least Lakers. they got there. And they won the first game. They, they got, won. They got, I agree. They, they didn't have much of a but, chance, but they got there. They did. They won 60-something games that year. Um, they, I would trade Ben Simmons who I am on the record as loving, but he can't shoot. I'm a big fan And he's fan a liability because he can't shoot. And you're going to see that in the playoffs. Okay. Just like you did last year. So Ben Simmons is one piece. So he's I on his would rookie off, deal. LeBron's if I had to give up Ben Simmons, 
and Jimmy Butler to get LeBron James, Jimmy Butler obviously in a sign and trade, or Hell. Tobias Harris. Maybe they, you know, Lakers would want like Jimmy Butler. Harris as much but I'm, Butler. I'm saying I'm making the call. I don't think it'll happen, mm-hmm. of course. I don't think the Lakers will trade LeBron. But if I'm Philadelphia, I'm making the call to try to pair LeBron James with Joel Embiid. Two reasons. One, LeBron's got three years left of, of high-level basketball. Not the best player in the league, but high-level basketball. Three could be generous. Joel Embiid, his injuries, who, who knows how long Joel's going to be. He may not play game one. Right. So I'm just saying, like, who knows if we got 10 years with Embiid. Let's try to win right now. That's why I would make I the call know. and try to get LeBron. Okay. Uh, I would say no. I would not make a play for LeBron if I'm the Sixers. Let me just ask you this. What big man has LeBron ever won with? Well, he hasn't had any great big men. Because he needs shooters. We just saw with well, the he, Lakers. Okay. They brought in JaVale. I would and have Tyson J.J. Chandler, Reddy, and protector. And, and, and I would want to put shooters around him. It To me, I, I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm more of a Simmons guy than Embiid guy. I know Embiid, you love him. You are the president I love both him of the Simmons. Joel Embiid I love, fan club. I love Simmons. I'm not giving up a young cat on his rookie deal who's just scratching the surface. Yeah, yeah, can he, defend he all is five just positions. The surface. Shoot, he He's a shoot. liability. He, he, can, he is. You're going to have to stop I, using I, that. No, he is. You cannot call he, one of the seven best point guards in the league a liability. You Here's can't why. do that. That's why. Just not, that's no, not accurate. I, I'm going to tell you why. Because at the end of games, is, Joe, is uh, Ben Simmons one of the seven great point guards in the league, if he's even that? Is he bringing the ball up as a point guard? What, you think Hacka Simmons? Is that where you think we're headed? Is he bringing the ball up as a point guard? Have you watched him? No. They had Tobias Harris bringing the ball up the, la- the last game against, I think it was Toronto or Milwaukee, at the end of the game. Because when Ben is on the perimeter, nobody guards him. I need somebody that can run the pick and roll, and they at least have to respect the, the jump, the, the guy running the, the, the ball handler. They don't have to respect Ben, so they back up. It nullifies the value of the pick and roll. And then where is Ben? Not on the bench. He's in, in on the block or in the corner just because when I put him on the block, at least the defense has to pay attention to him. And but what does that do? Because he's on the block, and in today's NBA, you can't put two players on the block. Now I got my seven-foot big man that nobody can stop. Out at the three-point line. Who loves shooting I need, threes. Yeah, but he's not that good at it. So I got to force him at the three-point line because I got to put Ben Simmons on the block just so the defense will pay attention so to him. what's Ben Simmons? That's what I mean, Six, liability. 6'10 point guard, right? Yeah. How, how many point guards in the league can guard Ben Simmons on the block? On the block? None. But okay. The problem is, so maybe it's a coaching thing, Chris. Maybe it's not a Ben Simmons can't shoot. We know he's not a great shooter. All right, you, so who would you – Joel Embiid. You're surrounding him Who's with better Embiid? on the block Embiid between Joel Embiid and, and Ben Simmons? Depends who going against. I mean, he, he don't want to attack Giannis on the block. We know that. Giannis rejected him no, four he times rejected. at the rim. Four, four times a couple yeah, like two weeks ago. Yeah, but Embiid had 30-something points. Hey, they lost. You get your shot Giannis blocked. Giannis said, up. no, not in LeBron my house. Has had his don't shot. come inside. He didn't do that to Ben Simmons? He might have. But he might have. He, he rejected beat. the heck out of Ben Simmons. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah, I right. mean, I'm serious. I just explained to you. Joel Embiid is a best post, better post he player than Ben Simmons. No, no doubt about that. And the, but, but I, I got to force Embiid out to the three-point line at the end of the game because Ben Simmons, if I keep him on the court, has to be on the block just so they guard him. So your idea is I, I trade a guy because he's ben. not a good shooter at the age of no, 21, 22. I, I like – he's not trying – I like Ben Simmons. I've been on record as saying he's an all-time great, or potentially. So Ben Simmons, but Jimmy if Butler I can to get the Lakers. LeBron James right now, LeBron and Embiid would be dynamic together in the East. In the in the league, you got a guy with chronic injuries in Joel Embiid. You got a guy who's thirty-four well, and a half, that, coming off his most injury-plagued season ever, and you're dumping Ben Simmons because he can't shoot. Most injury-plagued wow. season, Miss. All right, so games. let's just say we agree to disagree on that one. Let's move on to the next topic. Um, he took a guy. L. I that, did not. I don't take was, L's. That was I don't cold. take L's. That was called oh, knockdown, Jay. That was <laughs> boom uppercut. Kevin Durant, my man, KD, best, most talented player in the NBA. Should he stay with Golden State on a one plus one, or should he leave for New York? Yeah. Or you know the Clippers. I've said or what that I de- I would love to say CKD stay. And from a historical standpoint, look, we know he wants to separate himself from LeBron James or try to be better than LeBron James legacy-wise. 
Uh, we know he wants to, you know, have the greatest legacy he can. What better way to do that than winning four straight championships? Yeah. Magic didn't do it. Duncan didn't do it. Shaq, Kobe, LeBron, MJ. None of them did. Nobody's done it since Bill 50 Russell. 50 years. Since Something, Bill Russell. Yeah. Okay. So that, I, I'm when with was you. Like That's a good look. However. A great look. I think the tension there, and maybe being in a new arena could remove it. But I just, look, there's a reason nobody's won four straight. Michael Jordan retired after each three-peat. It's taxing. You can see it on, in the Warriors right now. They don't care at all about the regular season. Agreed. And to have to go through that again with all the drama of, is KD leaving now? It, Draymond, what do we do about his contract? Did Clay get his max? So is he, like, I just think it would, I don't think they'd win four straight. Now, I'm with you. Oh, time out. Who's taking him down? It could be, it could be a lot of things. Houston, uh, it, <laughs> I'm just saying. It, it, I think they could take down themselves, essentially. That is more likely. The, the, it just is so tough to win four straight. Nobody's done yeah. it since the, Bill Russell. So, I say, I wouldn't go to New York if, alone if I'm KD. Right. Definitely should not go alone. But if he goes with Kyrie Irving, those two, you got to change. This is about challenges. Challenge yourself. Well, you and and I get with right. KD, look, three straight rings is great. Right, can I, I assume they're going to win man, three straight. On, let's wrap this but up. let's get a challenge. Okay. Go to New York with Kyrie. You just said the biggest challenge ever is winning four straight. Michael Jordan retired twice rather than try for four straight. Yeah, but How the is that not the biggest challenge? Because now. The cha- it's just tension. It's, men- it's more of a mental, mental challenge. No doubt about it. I think going to New York, winning, a, winning one, uh, uh, as big as winning four straight would be, Winning three straight and then one in New York, right. not necessarily Fine. next year, would be bigger. But you've got to get Kyrie because on board Because lo- these four straight, I still right. say, well, you're with this super team, the Warriors. No, uh, you, you might say that. I, I You might not. Everybody else would. Who it, cares about everybody else? I don't care what these jokers on Twitter say. Isn't this all about That's legacy? That's not reality. Listen, le- you you're know what legacy is? You're always on Twitter You know what legacy comments. is? Four straight titles. That's the legacy. Now, no, it we, is. you it's made great. a good point I, about he wants to be better than LeBron. We see he's got a new TV show, this boardroom situation. He's doing everything LeBron He does. is. What's the one thing LeBron hasn't done? Four straight. He needs well, to LeBron stay didn't do three on a straight. one plus LeBron one. LeBron didn't do three straight. Right. He stays on a one plus one. Not only that, he prevents LeBron from getting a title with the Lakers. Are the Lakers wins. that close? Well, we'll see. What, he if could they prevent get him in Davis, New York. You just said Anthony Davis He could prevent best him case. in New York. Uh, well, he needs he needs Kyrie and might need well, Zion. I agree. Too. You need okay, to talk Knicks to Kyrie, make garbage. sure they're going. The Knicks roster is worse than the Lakers. Well, they, they would add anyway, around it. Kevin Durant stays on a one plus one. He can then leave after getting four straight, and he's only thirty one. He can still go elsewhere in his prime. I'm telling you, if Kevin Durant stays and wins four straight, he is officially a top ten player in NBA history. Well, I think you would be on board with that. He's already close. He's probably in the. 10 to 15 range, nipping at Kobe's heels. If he wins four straight, Chris, you got to give the man his props. I've said it. He's unstoppable. I think it would be, I think it would, relax. He uh, is a <laughs> two straight finals MVPs. What you got? Go on, Joel Embiid, all this nonsense. No, I, I mean, I've said that myself. You probably bit that argument from me. I said it months ago. What? I think it would be a great look to win four straight. I'm just saying I don't think they would because I think it's very tough to do mentally. It will be a challenge. Hey, listen, you got to trade Draymond. I think going to New York, Bye. going to New York, and winning in New York it would wouldn't. be better. Now again, him and Kyrie are buddies. Yeah. I'm How sure they're this? already talking. If the Knicks if they don't get go the together. number one pick, does that matter at all? No, not to me. I I'll tell you, it this, wouldn't if matter. They get to me. Zion. What matters if the Knicks? Oh, getting Zion is well, that's, yeah, that's great. That's what I mean, but but I'm just saying, even if they don't, if they get KD and Kyrie. I'm, and I'm, and I'm you, are you're making paying. them the favorites to win the title with KD? No, I'm just saying they'd be a contender. They wouldn't be the favorites yet. You take it take a while. All right, we'll wrap it up and here, see who sorry. they put around them. We need to get you a win here. All right, final topic: NBA Finals. Who's going to the finals from the Eastern Conference? It's just tough. I hope I'm wrong because I want Milwaukee to go. Why? Because I think their length and athleticism would really make it a tough series with Golden State. I think Golden State would beat them. But I think they they they're tough a tough matchup for the Warriors. Interesting. So I think that'd be I didn't great. See that coming. They shoot the three great. They obviously got the great Giannis Adetokounmpo. 
Their defense is best in the league. They they would be a they're well coached. They're physical and tough. They'd be a tough matchup for the Warriors. So I hope I'm wrong, but I think Toronto will beat them in the Eastern Conference Finals because Milwaukee has no experience. None of their no. players have won a playoff series. I don't want a playoff series. Toronto, you got oh, Kawhi. And, well, but regardless the of that, yeah. just these players. Kawhi and Danny Green, obviously championship pedigree. So I think Toronto's experience at the end of the day could win out. Hmm. But I hope I'm wrong. A rookie head coach? They both got long bench. Uh, yeah, that's well, why first I, year first year coaches with this right. franchise. I had thought about the Bucks. I have a futures ticket. I talked about it on my podcast. Coming up winners. If you like sports gambling, I got the Bucks plus twenty five hundred to win Plug. the East. Plug. <laughs> but I actually think, Chris, that the Boston Celtics are going to be my pick here. Uh, I, I know everybody's selling them. Bruce Hart's rolling his eyes. That's why I'm here, folks. Even Marcus he, Morris. Neil oh, even not, doesn't. Not even, not even Neil believes. He's the biggest Celtics fan in FS1. Not even he believes they're going to win these. You're a big Warren. Are they going to win these? Yes. You're, you're a big Warren Buffett fan. They're I like going buying, out in the second round. I like buying stock low. You give me the best coach in the East. We'll agree. Brad Stevens, best no, coach. No, we don't agree. Who, who's the best How, coach? How, has he been good this year? Who's the best coach? Has in, he been good this year? Why didn't we make this a topic? Who is the no, best we, coach? No, we're making it a topic right now. Brad Stevens has had a bad year. Okay. Don't give me that mess. He went to the coach. Eastern Conference Finals what he did at is, home what he, without Kyrie last year and Gordon Hayward. You know what, what are you talking he's about? He's the little engine that could coach. Oh my all these gosh. non-blue chippers, all these two and three star players, I get them to maximize their ability. I give you that. But Who? now that you got a Mercedes Benz, now that you got a Maserati and Kyrie Irving, what are you doing with that? Who's the best coach in the East? It ain't Brad Stevens this Give year. Give me the name. Who you got? My coach, you of the year, even... my coach of the year was Mike Budenholz. Yeah, he's been great this year. Who's he's been great, coach? period. He was great uh, in Atlanta. That's right. He won 60. He got dusted by LeBron in the East. Has Brad Get Stevens, out of has here. Has Brad Stevens had a good coach in the year? Chris, you're out of your mind here. Has he? Answer the question. Has he's, he had a good coach in the year? up and down. Not his best season. But if... Are you just going on this Brad season? Brad Stevens has not had a good year. Let me get back to my point. I gave you a Maserati and you uh, no. can't handle it. The best coach in the Kyrie East Irving. is in Boston, right? Brad Stevens. The best player in the East, again, Giannis is going to be the MVP. I agree with him. Kyrie Irving is the best player in the East. When I got a playoff series, he's won game seven of the finals with a three-pointer. He's, not he's the one best of the most player clutch the players. He I gave this clutch. out on my podcast as well. He's not the best Final player three East. minutes this season, clutch games. He's shooting 58%. He's great in the clutch. I'll take Kyrie he's not with the best less player than in the East. He's the best player in the Giannis. East. The most, game is 48 minutes. It's not three How many minutes. playoff series Giannis won? I forgot. Help me out here. How many playoff series has Giannis won? How many has Kyrie won without LeBron James? None. How All many right. has he won, though? He won a title. Game seven, Kyrie delivered. I give delivered. you he's clutch, but he's not better than Giannis. I, I got the best coach in the East, the most clutch player in the East. I feel like Gordon Hayward's finally gelling, right? Gordon Hayward finally had a great month to end the season. Jason Tatum, I'm sorry, Chris. Boston Celtics are my pick to win the East. They're going out in the second round. <laughs> Trust the brother. Are you serious? Trust the Second brother, round? not the other. Oh, that's a good one. Where'd you get that from? House party? <laughs> All right, so we wrap this up. J-Mac, booyah, taking three out of four. Really? I got to give Bruce our one, you know. Hey, that's the score. Rick Buecher's here. He's saying three to one, McIntyre wins. Oh. Chris, it was good to be back on Knockdown J. Oh, man, look at him. He's, he's smarting a little bit. We really? crushed it last year. Folks, we're back every week, maybe, if you can handle maybe, this. Yeah, maybe. You know, we, so we got to get him back in game shape. He hasn't played basketball since last July. I got people asking me, when are we playing one-on-one? I said, let's just give Broussard You time. ducked out. I was I ready. I had the shorts on, Facts. the I shoes did not on. Duck out. We could not get a gym. Somebody told you you might not score a point. Oh, I guarantee it. I you weren't going to score. Forget beating wait. you. And somebody told you. You might not even I've been score. working and on my crossover. And then next thing I know, you didn't show I, up. I'm ready. Next thing I know, you didn't show I'm up. I'm ready. I got my kids. I got to pick them up for school. I'm ready. Next thing you I are. know, you got all I'm these. Sorry, excuses. I don't have college kids. No, no, no. You knew. I got you elementary knew. school. But you hey, I'm ready, chance. folks. All right, wrap it up. Get us out. <laughs>